Hi guys, this is Michael from the Board Games Chronicle. Today I have for you fourth, the last material about the British way, counterinsurgency at the edges of empire. So four games in, in one box, so called coin multipack, which talk about British emergencies after World War II. So actually the independence moves uh, within the British empire. We already played the Palestine, and as, as you remember, it was a pretty exciting game. Then you have Malaya, where British managed to, to crush the insurgency. The Cyprus, and today we'll be playing Kenya. It's the insurgency which happened in between 1952 and 56. Mm, uh, British forces managed to keep control of the territory, and it was actually not in the whole area, not in the whole country but in some part of this, uh, but they had to use some really harsh methods like uh, resettlement and reprisal, which also will be reflected in this game. So what we shall do, this is kind of a teacher play. So first of all, I will explain a little the rules. We look at the map, we look at the cards, we look at special operations and actions, special activities and operations, and at the end we'll play a couple of rounds. I'm not sure if we'll play three. Sometimes we manage to finish the game, sometimes, yeah, I was stopping inside, so we shall see. Uh, let's move on. The first thing which I would like to present to you is, of course, map. Kenya is probably more like the regular coin games, unlike Cyprus and Palestine, which was uh, pretty unique. Malaya was already uh, similar to the regular coin. Kenya is probably the most, uh, most familiar because we'll have a control, as you can see. This is uh, the control marker, which is double-sided. Stop, start. So we'll have a control markers like here. This is Mau Mau control and this is a British control. We will have also kind of a support. So uh, the forces can be uh, support, uh, I believe, lawyer or resist. Yeah, lawyer or resist to the, to the regime. And uh, what else we'll have here? Yeah, so this is this is a typical part of a coin game, having a control and uh, having uh, having the support. Uh, we'll have a track here which shows both resources. The resources are tracked only for the insurgents and political will. And you should probably already be familiar with the political will concept, which shows you how um, British are winning the, those uh, emergencies. If the political will is high enough, they will, will, uh, they will win it. If it's low, they will probably uh, lose. Uh, some interesting things on the map. The red pieces are the insurgents. These are the guerrillas and these are the bases. The um, blue and the brownish uh, pieces will be the British. This is the police and these are the troops. Other areas of interest on the map are the holding spaces here for the insurgent troops and for the British. There are some out of play also. Uh, we'll have a legend which shows us all the um, areas on the map. We'll have two types of provinces non-reserve and reserve. Uh, reserve provinces will be those which are black, uh, black title, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, the regime created a reserve there and there will be some special activities on both sides uh, uh, which could and could not be taken in those areas. Uh, for example, her settlement. And uh, yeah, then we'll have a mountain jungle in those two provinces. As you can see, there could be no support, resist, and loyalty here, and there is zero as far as population is concerned. This is also the, uh, the population. Then uh, we have out of play areas, and we have Nairobi here. Uh, what is interesting, unlike other titles in the series, the population is 
pretty uh, roughly roughly even is pretty you have two in Nairobi and two in Vos three provinces next to it we have also here the initiative track you should be already familiar with it based on the other games uh, the first eligible second eligible uh, faction this is a special track when you play two player coin game uh, we, you can choose lim limit operation event or operation and special activity and whoever is leftmost will be first next turn here is some interesting piece uh, which is a specific specific to, 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 to this game to Kenya this is the pipeline track it actually shows you how many reprisal and relocate actions can particular can the British take and if they take such action we will be rolling for the outrage which potentially can lower their political will okay I believe that's all as far as the map is concerned yeah uh, we'll talk more during during the play all in all pretty nicely looking similar colors palette like in other games pretty aesthetic and, and uh, visually pleasing I would say the map. I believe it's good time now to jump to uh, operations and special activities let me start with the British I said it uh, during last four uh, last three games and I will uh, repeat in the third the player aids are really nice very informative you have everything here i especially like that uh, you have all this information how to lower political feel in this case it should be increased there is a typo you have lower and lower here so increase political will and that you have them here in one one place and you need don't need to look into the uh, into the rule so what do we have here of course deploy so we can deploy forces we place cubes and reposition troops it can be nairobi or controlled provinces and yeah they will be placing the police or potentially in nairobi they can also place the uh, troops those cannot be and deployed so this this operation will not allow for this then we have relocate and relocate is one of those uh, actions which depends on the pipeline track and uh, yeah we would need to roll roll for for for, for the uh, outrage if it's more than one and relocate uh, allows you in british controlled population populated reserve provinces so this would be those provinces you first of uh, first of all need to control them may select space up to the number indicated on the pipeline track in each space lower the population value by one and move one police from out of play to available so it will be decreasing the number of people uh, are living here interestingly and also it allow you to bring the um, uh, police to the play when we have sweep you probably know this by heart now so you move to end destination spaces and activate guerrillas and you have assault <clears throat> when you attack and remove one guerrilla per one troop or in the mountains two to one note one thing there is no cost anywhere for the british um, british uh, troops and for the british actions operations sorry that's because they have pretty pretty unlimited resources in comparison to the insurgents and during during this time but you have some special really special special abilities airstrike is probably something known for example from uh, other other coin games like under abyss so you remove active guerrillas remove one active guerrilla or if mountain jungle remove up to active guerrillas uh, because there is for example airbust uh, during uh, inside of the trees so in case we have such situation so this is activated guerrilla with the airstrike you can destroy both note this guys really this is this is pretty pretty cool so you can do the sweep here and then attack with the airstrike now reward it allows to remove terror and increase loyalty and reprisal one of those two special uh, abilities uh, already 
if possible at the start emergency uh, emergency powers yes pipeline track it allows you to um, reduce resistance and displace gorilla so if there is a resistance you can you can remove it add a terror market to the second space if none and shift the space once towards neutral move one gorilla from there to an adjacent space we shall see probably will be using this too now how to increase remember increase political will. first of all during the campaign if you remove a base you are getting one political will if you remove uh, the control so we simply get in here we get population of space to political will so Getting into those areas is, is pretty, pretty decent thing. Then events from one to two points. During the propaganda, uh, I will tell you in a moment, I, I would like to skip for now because it will be really interesting to show in comparison to the uh, Mau Mau um, possibilities during the propaganda. So what the insurgents can do? What operations do they have? First and foremost, rally. They place guerrillas and bases. And this is a tricky thing. This is not a regular way. One resource, of course, but place one guerrilla or replace two with a base. If base instead place guerrillas up to population, plus base or flip and the guerrillas were underground. We need to have a reserve province. So this province or a province with, without loyalty. At the beginning, it's possible almost everywhere, but then when the loyalty is being built, it will not be so easy. March, of course, we go to any destination spaces, one resource per destination, and we can be discovered as always in the uh, in the in the coin gates. If you get to a place where there's a lot of troops, cubes, police, uh, you you are bound to be to be discovered because um, you know uh, there is so many so many uh, enemies there that they will spot you. There are also known from other coin games you build resistance and remove police any spaces with underground guerrilla uh, once we remove the resource in each selected space activate one guerrilla and then either place a terror usual thing and uh, shift the space once towards resistance or and this is a really something specific for this game remove two police cubes they can remove police cubes this is this is really really important now we have three special activities supply gain resources for each base in nairobi plus one resource for each other base connected to nairobi by a path of interviewing spaces with either a guerrilla or resistance so uh, they have base here they have base here they have base here so they have connection here and they can get like free free uh, of of uh, mm, uh, resources now of max one populated reserve province again reserve provinces uh, we built resistance and place guerrilla this is also a way to to to, to uh, get rally the guerrillas <coughs> a populated reserve province with an underground guerrilla shield the space once to resistance and place one guerrilla there rate maximum one province it's really uh, interesting because you can, you can move guerrillas and act with them. A really unique, special activity also. So we either move one or two guerrillas from adjacent mountain jungle into the space. So we can go from here to here, from here to here, and perform a limited, free limited operation there, or move any guerrillas from the spaces to an adjacent mountain jungle and free them underground. If they are spotted here, they can hide in the jungle. I can tell you guys, the operations and special activities in Kenya are really interesting and a pretty, pretty nice novelty in comparison to, to the previous one. So really, really glad to test them and we'll definitely do it. Now, I wanted to tell you a little about winning the game so before we do it i believe i forgot to touch about the lowering political will by the mau mau during the campaign they can do it by gaining the control of a space they control a lot so they will be rather losing this they can um, get the uh, outrage role and decrease political will and there are some powerful events even up to four political will 
Now, during the propaganda round, and again, I like to compare it, this is how the both sides can influence political will of British. The British can raise it by if there are no arms caches in the mountains, so here and here, to political will. Every two towns without... Ah, sorry, this is Cyprus. I am reading the wrong part, of course. I was thinking, arms caches? My goodness, they have bases. Remove base, okay. No mau mau pieces in Nairobi. So if there are no pieces in Nairobi, then <clears throat> they will get as many as two political political points. And no base outside mountain jungle. So if the bases are only here and no over there, they will get two political will points. Very good. Now during the propaganda, the Mau Mau will get uh, points resistance population greater than loyal population. For now it's equal, but when they start building the resistance in those areas, that will really give them points. And terror markets in populated non reserve spaces. So not in those spaces, but in those spaces, terror will be, will be hitting. What I wanted to show is how different those things are during the propaganda. Yeah, so no pieces, no bases. This is resistance, population, terror markers. During the propaganda round, both sides would have pretty distinctive, distinctive sources of increasing or decreasing political will. Now, the next step would be to create the, the deck, the playing deck. There's 32 cards here, and we will be creating three decks of six cards. Let me do it. I will shuffle the cards. Four, four, five, 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 six, six, six. We'll have three propaganda cards. We'll shuffle them to the last two cards. Let me do it now. Let me shuffle here. And then we'll stack everything together. And so it's maximum 16 events, usually a few less. And the game should be pretty quick. It really helps that this is a two-player game, so you can play it pretty, pretty quick. So guys, we are all set. To start the play part of a teach and play material. Stay tuned with me, I will be back with you in a moment. Okay guys, I think we are ready to play. The best way to learn the game is simply try to, to, to play it. I will be of course heavily using the play rate. This will be my first play of Kenya, so let's see how it goes. First of all, we draw an event. The first eligible faction is, of course, a Mau Mau. Operation Blitz. British sweep into one mountain jungle and then airstrike there. Guerrillas sweep all guerrillas in mountain jungles underground. Hmm. Pretty cool event for uh, the British and uh, guerrillas uh, cannot do too much about it. Uh, in order to prevent the event, they would need to play the event and pass, <coughs> which is not uh, too much exciting. So maybe, maybe what what they will do, they will do the operation and special activity. And in order to prevent uh, those being destroyed, we can, for example, do rally. Place one guerrilla or replace two with a base. If base instead place guerrillas up to population plus bases. No, no, that's not much, but it will be a lot of in Nairobi. So <clears throat> let me start using those markers. I will try to prevent the destruction. So we'll do free rally. We'll run to free. We'll remove it. So here we rally guerrillas up to population plus bases, so up to three, my goodness. 
That's a lot. Here, we rally a uh, population uh, to base, so it's only one. But you know, this one will prevent the destruction of, of those guys unless uh, they will fully commit. So, this is the uh, option special activity. Uh, now, now we have possibility to sweep into one mountain jungle and then airstrike there. Mm, I would like to remind you that sweep into the mountain jungle is one for every two cubes to discover the guerrillas. So it will be not so easy, but airstrike is removed too. Uh, active guerrillas, yeah? So what we can do, <coughs> sorry, I believe we can sweep here and we'll do a sweep from here and here. Having one, two, three, four, we can unhide those two. And when doing the airstrike, we can remove those two. And this was the event. Now the British are the first eligible. Mm, by the way, guys, I'm sorry. Of course, we haven't done the special operation for the insurgents. You know, in the previous games, when you not 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 to player games, coin games. If you played only operation, you can prevent the event. You can do it like this here. So we played rally, so we can supply. We could potentially do supply of supply was good because it was giving us mm, gain one resource for each base in the Nairobi plus one resource for each other base connect Nairobi. So we will getting back eff effectively those those things. So that was good. Now. Kenya land and freedom army. Mau Mau no longer free rally during the redeploy phase. Mau Mau, right? May select up to two spaces. Let us see it right. Okay, this was allowing us to move. Okay. So I believe there is no good event for the British, but this is a good time to strike. If they can remove this base, so probably an assault uh, would be good. It can be with reprisal or airstrike. A reprisal we can do in one space, reduce resistance, displace guerrillas. <clears throat> By the way, this is of course the British control now. And here one, two, three, four, five, uh, one, two, three, four. Five. So I believe we lost control here, and losing the control means gaining Mau Mau control. Okay, we have not gained the control yes, yet. What shall we do? Can we airstrike into Nairobi? I don't believe uh, any province or mountain jungle. So sorry, you cannot do the airstrike here. Uh, you know, I would like on one hand to uncover those guys and on the other hand kill those guys so most probably assault here yeah we'll be doing ops and special activity assault here and it will be sweep here okay let's do that way guys we do sweep and air strike we do the air strike here we remove the base, and by removing the base, we're getting one, one political will. Now, what we are doing, we are doing a sweep, and sweep is move troops and activate guerrillas. And destination may may move any troops into adjacent destination spaces, but activate one guerrilla per cube in each destination. Uh, it's only adjacent spaces. No. Oh. Location, any destination spaces. If it's any destination spaces, maybe instead of doing the sweep immediately, we'll do deploy because airstrike also comes with deploy uh, up to four cubes. So we'll place four cubes in Nairobi. We'll regain the control. That's what we want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, let's see what what can the insurgents do. They can pass 
and pipeline okay where is the pass pass is here so we can get one resource they can get the um, capability so moving from the mountains and attacking somewhere or we can get the limited operation and has a good limited operation for them now mm -hmm. build resistance remove police now it doesn't make sense i think we would rally further Place one guerrilla or replace two with base. We will be fighting for Nairobi. We'll again rally one here. And because population is two and we have one base, we can get three here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So just minimally. Just minimally. Not sure if sticking everything here is a perfect solution. But let's see. Next round. Weapon shortage. Remove one guerrilla from each space with more than two. So two guerrillas would be removed. Mao Mao may place up to two guerrillas in one space with police. Do we want this event? That's not necessarily such a good event as we think. We'll start spreading our influence most probably mm -hmm. so what can we do if we would like to use operations and special activities supply is not bad it's always two things so i believe supply might be good so let us take one for this base and one for this base and after doing the supply uh, we will do the march <clears throat> and uh, yeah we would like to decrease uh, decrease straight. so let me move two guys here and the control flips that means political will flips until it costs one Mm -hmm. Any other space where we can potentially move? I will move to here. One more resource. Okay, now this was option special activity. Uh, I believe uh, now we can play either remove one grid from each space with more than two or do our our activity i will do the sweep here definitely and now we'll be first as a british and maybe we can get those guys ah uh, yep surrender schemes remove one guerrilla each from up to two spaces with guerrillas and troops mm -hmm. momo free rally into spaces so i believe now it's time for the British to ops and special activity. We'll do assault here, it's no-brainer. Remove one active Mau Mau piece per troop. So all four are dead. And now uh, one political will uh, here. Uh, what we can do with assault only reprisal or airstrike airstrike doesn't make sense reprisal reduce resistance displace guerrillas uh, we can potentially do this but does it make sense airstrike doesn't make sense so nothing more mm. I believe Mau Mau free rally in two spaces is exactly the event we want to try. And this will be here, the base will be here. Let me take the base here, we will replace it. This will be the first place, yeah, yeah, or replace the base. And then we can place one guerrilla, any reserve provinces or any other spaces without loyalty 
will go here and we we'll remove the control. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now this goes here. And I believe Hola Detention Camp. Remove one base from a space with troops plus one political will. No such situation. When the roll for outreach, drag but lower political will by two if the result is less than the pipeline value. Shift the pipeline one step to the right. Mm -hmm. I believe ops and special activity. And now we would like to work a little about how they see us. So we would like to work on the population so we can lower political will. In order to do it, in each space, activate one underground guerrilla when I replace one terror marker, if none, and shift one space towards resistance or remove two police cubes. So we will do the terror in a couple of spaces. This will be here, this will be here, and this will be here. Three terrors. In all of them, we flip the guerrillas. And in all of them, we are doing the resistance. So we have more six now population who are resisting. This costs three. One, two, three. But we can still uh, get, uh, get some um, resources from the supply. Yes, so we are getting to from supply. And what what can be done here? Mm -hmm. If we pass, we move it to the right. If we do the move, what what would be our idea? I think we'll be trying to fight. We'll move this guys here, this guys here, and those guys here. We'll remove control. Ah, but we have lim ops, lim up, lim up, limited operation. In limited operation, you can deploy. Uh, okay, with deploy, we can additionally move troops. But I believe uh, relocate would be better. So let's do it that way. Mm. We'll do the relocate, not relocate, sweep. So we move those two or even three troops here. We remove the control and by removing the control, I believe uh, we are getting two political will points. Uh, yes, it's only Mau Mau control. It's not whether we have a control. And that's all, and the next round, hopefully there will be next round. No, there will be not, there is propaganda. You see, they were exactly nicely poised to be struck. Fortunately, nothing like this will happen because we are jumping to the propaganda round. Uh, yeah, the thing is, British were really nicely prepared for a strike now. Everything was, yeah, uh, created, but unfortunately the propaganda around jumped. Let's go. Kenya, yeah. Subtract total resistance population from total loyal population, then reduce political will by the total if negative, but do not increase political will if positive. We have three populations which are resisting. We decrease by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a huge problem. Lower political will by one for each populated non-reserve space with a terror marker. Um, no, there are not such spaces, but terror are only in the reserve spaces. Increase political will by two if there are no Mau Mau pieces in Nairobi. There are no, so we increase one, two. Then increase political will by two if there are no bases outside mountain jungles. Mm, there is such a base, and it was almost destroyed. Victory! If either player has met the automatic victory, no. If this is final propaganda round, no. Resources, Mau Mau. Increase Mau Mau resources by number of bases of the map. 
I thought they will be really having problems with resources, but it seems yeah, they, they, they keep pretty nicely, pretty well. Mm, now, uh, British may perform a reward special activity, and the reward special activity remove terror and increase loyalty, deploy or relocate British control populated space, remove a terror marker, and shift the space once toward loyalty. I believe we will do it here. Remove it. And now we have OF from the Mau Mau, and OF will be with resistance populated, reserve provinces with an underground guerrilla. Shift the space once towards resistance and place up one guerrilla there. Let me do it far away, or maybe on the forefront. So let's do it here. And let's build resistance. Mm -hmm. Now, redeploy. Adjust control only after completing the redeployment. British must move troops in mountain jungles to British controlled spaces. Or Nairobi. British then may move police to any British controlled provinces or Nairobi. British controlled spaces. I would like to strengthen some spaces, I believe. And we can, uh, British then may move police to any British controlled provinces or Nairobi. I would like to move a couple of troops. Couple of troops here. Okay, nice. I will move one police here. Uh, we need to move those troops from here. They will come here. Forest camps. Mau Mau may free rally in each mountain jungle. So they will create one more. Or they can actually create a base. Yes, we can create another base. But then airstrike will remove those bases. So now we don't want to do something good for the British. And then adjust all control. And control is not changing. Here is zero, so, so it's doing nothing. Remove all terror from map, flip all guerrillas underground. British may shift pipeline one space in either direction. We shift it here, and now those lucky guys. Really lucky. Survive. So, let's move on. Do we adjust the eligibility? No, not in this game. Yeah, because for example in Cyprus you'd have York as first eligible, but not here. Here we follow <coughs> the order from the previous round. Legal zones. Airstrike may select up to two provinces. Airstrike may only select mountain jungle spaces. It's interesting. And also the interesting thing is, what shall we play as a British? We should probably, most probably, start taking advantage of uh, reducing the control. Mau Mau, so probably some sweep would be in, in place. Mm. Uh, sweep, move troops and activate guerrillas. Okay. And we can get a reprisal. Yeah, this sounds like a good idea. So we do we go here. How many spaces? Mm -hmm. We move two guys here and we try to find them. We removed the control, so one political will. We move here we lose control but don't you worry uh, actually those guys can move here those guys can move here that way we also sweep here 
Here we sweep and remove the control. And now to political will. Here we sweep here. Another to political will. And now we can arbor airstrike. Or we can do the reprisal. Reduce resistance, displace guerrilla sweepers out populated spaces with British troops. Up to the number indicated on pipeline track. Reprisal, one space. Add a terror marker to the selected space. If none, and shift the space once toward neutral. Move one guerrilla from where to any adjacent space. Let me do it here. Uh, so there will be terror here. It will become neutral. And we move both guys here. Mm, this is, of course, option special activity. I was thinking about pushing them here, but no, this is, this is better. And by the way, British control should be here. British, 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 uncontrolled. We can potentially sweep also here and get the British control. Not so many perfect, perfect choices for Mau Mau. There is a lot of things which are happening. Uh, we can potentially build terror. We can move troops not to be killed. Uh, we can build resistance. I believe we'll do a move here for one. We'll move those guys here. We'll take control and we'll protect the base. By taking the control, we decrease political will again. Yep. Uh, this was March. Okay, that's, that's good. I think this is the best thing uh, we can do in this situation. Now, let's move to the next event. McLean Inquire. Increase political will by two and shift the pipeline one step to the left. Oh my goodness. Such a good thing that this is, uh, this is, this is the time for, for, uh, for the insurgents. Roll for outrage, but lower particularly will by two if the result is less than the pipeline value. Unfortunately, they need to go here. They need to pull, they need to pass and get one resource. So that way they will block the event. Uh, however, the ops and special activity can come now to the British. And what the British can do, they would like to do some cleanup on the map, most probably. Would be good to get of this resist. Mm, so reprisal. Um, by the way, have we rolled for re reprisal? No, we haven't. Only one does anything, but you never know. Yeah, it's one, so we lower this by one. We are doing the reprisal over here with terror. Uh, now, reduce resistance displays the guerrillas, or we can also, of course, attack and uh, airstrike. Assault will remove 2 to 1. I believe we'll do the assault. We'll remove those, those, and those two. And we will do also the airstrike, and airstrike removes only this one. So there will be much less of them on the map. Now we move to the next event. Lari Massacre. Place a terror market in one province and set it to neutral. Then the other player may place either a guerrilla or police there. <coughs> we shall see whether we will use it. For now, Definitely ops and special activity, and the, this will be rally. The rally will be big because we'll do rally here for one. And this is basis plus population. This is three all together. And then, and yeah, we still have this control here. <laughs> then mm -hmm. we will have a rally here. We'll put a base here. This is second. We'll do rally here. 
this is third we we want to have you know this possibility to do how you call it a supply okay we'll do one more base here this is one more cost and now we have one two three four bases actually we'll do one more rally here so we have one two three four bases and we'll recover those resources with the supply so we did rally plus supply <coughs> looks much better now what will the british do if they put a terror here that would be not very nice we can do the sweep of course and probably we should do a sweep here so we cannot get terror terror would be really nasty because yeah uh, oh you know what we'll not do the sweep we'll not do the sweep out or at least not here we'll do a sweep we'll do a sweep here yes we'll do a sweep here and maybe we'll get get um, rid of them and then we take control here no there is no control and we go here next event Kenya Police Reserve. Place one police from anywhere, even out of play, into each non-reserve police uh, uh, province. So it will be one, two, three, four police. Nice. Remove one guerrilla in each non-reserve province to set it to resistance. Mm, there are no such guys in non-reserve. So we go with ops and special activity. It will be assault, uh, definitely. British operation will be assault, assault, reprisal, or airstrike. Mm, I believe reprisal. Reprisal will be here. We can do one reprisal, now reduce resistance, so sweep or assault with British troops at a terror marker. Good. So once towards neutral and uh, yeah, move one guerrilla from where there is no guerrilla and we roll. If we roll one again, that would be <laughs> that that was close. And then we have attack here, of course. One more political will, thanks to the destruction of all of those guys here okay um, would be good also to get some loyalty yeah on the map but maybe later later on yeah this goes here british control british control their numbers are dwindle dwindling and uh, remove one good range it doesn't make sense Lim up. What can Lim up give us? How can we get the points? I believe we would need to put some terror. <coughs> this is nice. Build resistance, remove any specific underground guerrillas. We flip them. We pay a resource and we remove those two. That was brutal, but this was very effective. <clears throat> now the next one is protected villages. Shift the pipe and one step to the right, then the British may relocate in up to two spaces. Replace one population, removed by relocate, then place guerrilla in the space select. Not very sexy, so we go with ops and special activity. Mm, what would be the ops? Maybe some rally. Yep. 
Okay, I will do the rally. We need to have at least two rally, so we will have rally to to here and one in Nairobi. And <clears throat> having done this, uh, we can yes do the oh. Populated reserve provinces with an underground grid. Okay, we'll only remove terror here. Here, so it's not much. Oh, but not so bad to do it here. We can do the oath here. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we shift once towards resistance and place one guerrilla here. So we have resist here. Nice. And now, what would the British do? They can shift the pipeline one step to the right, then the British may relocate in up to two spaces. So I have relocate is remove population and add police to available. Yes, may select spaces up to the number of the pipeline track in each space lower the population value by one and move one police. Not the best thing probably to do, especially seeing all of us swings. Okay, guys, uh, it's it's time for some some beating of uh, of uh, of insurgents. Uh, I'm checking how do we do the sweep? Can we move any destination spaces? It's tempting to sweep here and then the, uh, and do the air strike or maybe assault. So let me do first of all sweep here. There is no we removed control. Then let me do the sweep here. One, two. Okay, this flips should be enough and sweep here. Can be even that way, you see. Okay, we have swept pretty nicely. And now, now really important. If it is again propaganda round, uh, then we would then we would finish prematurely. Uh, by the way, we had a limited operation, of course, guys. <laughs> so I was too quick to do sweep on the whole map. Of course, we can do the sweep only in one space. And this would be probably Mount Kenya anyhow. Because there are two political points over there. And they will not be able to run down. Oh, so, so I'm sorry. We are not increasing this. This was premature. Checking where we can gain the most. It will be sweep. It will be sweep no matter what, and it will be sweep here still. It will be sweep here. Okay, and if we assault in mountains, one per two troops. To this sweep, we'll add this guy. Okay, we'll lose control. Then. We'll add this guy. And we'll add this, this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Do we need so many? Uh, no, we don't need so many. We would like to do assault here, you see, and maybe assault there. To destroy everything there. Simply, simply everything. Hmm. Okay, this is British controlled now, and we'll try to get rid of this. Okay, now let's see what the next round brings. Home guard, place free policemen from anywhere, even out of play, into British controlled reserve provinces. Replace each terror marker in the reserve. 
spaces with Guerrilla. Huh, that would be nice. But I prefer to do OPS and special activity. Uh, this will be uh, for sure airstrike here. And airstrike gives one um, political will. And it will be sweep. Sweep here with three. Removing this. We lost this, but only temporarily. We will sweep here to gain control. We'll have one more guerrilla here in a moment. So we'll sweep here just to have control. We'll sweep here. We'll leave those two, two troops here. So we have control here, here, here. Everything is fine. Sweep and airstrike. That's a miracle. Sweep, airstrike. So now uh, they can replace each terror marker in reser reserve spaces with guerrilla. I believe we will go for this. So no terror here. No terror here. Two more guerrillas. No control here. And now it will be for the uh, uh, for the for the insurgents to move, but I I think we should have with the propaganda. Let me count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so six, seven, so one, fifty percent chances. Yep, that's propaganda. Let's see how it finishes. Again, those are lucky ones. Uh, subtract total resistance population from total loyal population. Do we have any resistance? Yes, we have two. So it goes down. Then lower particularly will you buy one for each population non reserve space with the market. There are no such. Increased particular will buy to either no more no, no pieces in Nairobi. Unfortunately, they are fair. Well, by to either no base outside mountain jungles. Unfortunately, they are there. If either player has met no, no. So increase Mau Mau resources by the number of bases. And this is two. May perform a reward special activity. A reward. So we will put lawyer here. And at the same time. They can do the off. Off. Let us see the off. Build resistance. Populate the reserve provinces with an underground guerrilla. So we have such. Shift the space once toward resistance and place up one guerrilla. Perfect space. It's like here. Because we are also getting control as guerrillas. Okay, and I believe uh, when we do the um, redeploy, British must move troops in mountain jungles to British controlled spaces or Nairobi. We have to move those guys. I think I will have one here and one here. May then move police to any British controlled province or Nairobi. Move both guys here. First comes Momo, my free rally in each mountain jungle. So we have one guy here. We adjust the control and reset. We remove terrors. We flip all guerrillas underground, which is almost everywhere the case. The British may shift pipeline once, space in either direction. Let's shift it here. Now, the turn number three, the final turn. Let's move on. To okay, guys, we are here for the last exciting turn of the Kenya insurgency. 
this uh, situation is pretty fluid complex after getting rid of insurgents in Aberdares, even in the Nairobi, when the British unfortunately failed to clean, clean uh, some of the provinces. Now we are near the draw, so it everything can happen. Let's see what event we'll get. Hooded men activate all guerrillas in two provinces. That would be great event, really great event for the, for the um, British in one space with Mau Mau and police remove one police and set the space to resistance. This is good event because it potentially gives two points. We remove this police and we set this to resist. This is not a bad event. Now we have like four already with a resist. So, what shall we do? We should work this out somehow. Uh, that, that can be limited operation in order to do something next turn. So, let's do it that way. We take the limited operation off. Sweep. Yeah, that's here. Shall we do the sweep here? Or maybe we shall do the sweep here and remove this base. You see, there are so many <laughs> options now uh, to happen. So that one, uh, I really don't know what would be the perfect, uh, perfect. Uh, let's try. And we can also have a reprisal. Of course, and, and a reprisal will be will be helping us. And reprisal goes with sweep and assault. So probably yes, we'll do the sweep here. Mm -hmm. And now next turn, maybe maybe some good event. We don't know. Increase political will by one, or relocate or reprisal in one space with no role for outrage. By the paper. Oh no, no, we need to play event now. So this is increased political will by one. Good. Regular relocate or reprise. Relocation, remove population. But what I prefer to do is uh, reprise, reduce resistance space, create a population space with British troops. Mm -hmm. Let's do it that way. Uh, let's do the terror here. Mm, over here, I can do here because first of all the resistance dis disappears and we push those guys here. They lose control. And this applies really, really nicely. So probably option special activity for um, for the for the insurgents. Uh, first of all, they can. Uh, I think. I think we are in pretty good shape there. Potentially they can create some bases and take over the control. Uh, yeah, so we can rally here. One. We can rally here. Uh, do we want to rally somewhere else? Not necessarily. Mm-hmm, not necessarily, uh, but what else can we do? First one, we are all to bases. We'll spend another here to flip them, and as a special ability, in order to get some resources, we would need to rally also here, which we will do. Because then we can do the supply. We have two bases, so two resources coming back to us. But we are more or less safe now with so many insurgents here. What will the British do? Reward may select two spaces. Each reward Mau Mau may place one Gilsa in Mountain Jungle. Reward is another bad thing. Uh, but it's maximum one space. Uh, 
Okay. So what do we do? Not an easy, easy thing to ask. Those brutal methods like sweeping assault go with reprisal in airstrike. Those non-brutal methods like deploy and relocate go with reward. Of course, it could be airstrike, but reward sounds like a good mitigation factor for the guerrillas. Mm, but I still would like to get rid from here. So we'll do the sweep. Sweep here. Let's say those moves here. Mm, yeah, we can do it that way. Those guys, those two guys moves here. First part of a sweep, those two guys let them move. Or they can move probably in space also. Those moves here. They can move somewhere else. Mm -hmm. We don't have control here. We need to leave at least one of those guys. Mm, where else we would like to sweep? Where else? This is this is most disturbing thing. Very much disturbing, and we would like to kill both, of course. So let me leave one here. We sweep in here. Oh, we don't need to sweep anywhere he goes. He will flip. We sweep here, and we might want, do we want to sweep somewhere else? No, let's, let's keep it like this. So this is the sweep, and then we will do the airstrike, and airstrike kills one here. Potentially, we could do the sweep here with two guys and airstrike here, which gives us one political win, too, and which is nice. Oh, there was no British control, I, I forgot to, to augment it here. Uh, could we do something better? No, I believe this is, this is fine. Event does make sense and the limited operation, I believe, will go for victory points. So we will move three guerrillas here to take the control. Mm -hmm. And take two victory political will back. Uh, we are getting closer and closer, guys. One, two, three, four. So very soon we should have. Uh, the propaganda card. Let the one, two, three, four, five. One of those three. Labor party. British deploy when reward. Nice. Lower particularly by the current pipeline value when she the pipeline pipeline one to the left. Yes. One, two, three. Show it to me. What are you going to do now? We are going to do the assault here. And then hope for some good event and good situation. But that was that was not nice. That was not nice. Or maybe we'll not do a salt there. We'll do a sweep. We shall do a sweep and the sweep will be will be here. Those two, this goes from here. There is too many, simply too many of those. Now it's better to go here, sweep here, sweep here. And yes, you are correct, guys. You would like to get rid of some of those next event. Not some of those, with many of those. Can we? Yeah, we we can we can actually leave one here. Free, free is not enough. Free is not. I don't have enough troops to fight. Two to one. One to one. I need one more here. No matter what, we assault now. 
Supply requires Mau Mau control or resistance in your space between Nairobi and base. Ah, that's interesting. Gain two resources for each base. So guys, now this will be operation and special activity by the British forces. Maybe one which will win the whole insurgents. We will attack. Let me just attack here. Will be attack here. And by the way, there is still control here. There will be attack here, here, and here. Here we have four. We remove those three and the base. Here we remove this one. There is no control. One victory point here because the control is removed. Now we remove one guy here. We move one, remove one way here and two guys here. This is this is the operation. Now we can use special activity, which was assault. So unfortunately, only the reprisal. Uh, we can relocate a uh, reprise. We can do the reprisal. We can do the reprisal here. We remove it. We put the terror here. We roll a die on one, two. We'll lose one political will. No, we didn't. We do not. And now what will they do? Uh, I believe it's good to get some control. So one, and we want to control of this. Two points. Wow, propaganda card. Guys, this will end the game. And we start calculating the uh, final score from the draw. 10 is a draw. So let's see how it goes. Everything can happen now. Yeah. I was not aware this could be such a balanced game. Probably most balanced from all three we played, all four we played. Subtract total resistance populace from the loyal. So there is two loyal here, and uh, there is a terror here, terror here, and resist here. So this is two versus two, so nothing, no shift. Beautiful. Lower particularly will by one. Uh, for each populated non reserve space with terror mark. Now, these are the reserve spaces, so this is fine. Excuse me, increase particular will buy to if there are no Mau Mau pieces in Nairobi, yes, and to if there are no buys outside mountain jungles. That's the situation. One, two, three, four. That's probably this last offensive, probably won the game for the British. It's end because this is if it's the final propaganda card. We determine the final victor, and the final victor is that if we didn't finish automatically, here the British win, here Mau Mau wins, here is the draw. We actually achieved the historical result. Without relocation, we didn't remove any population, but there was a reprisal as a British hero, of course. There was no other way to do it. So really, really exciting game. Probably Kenya will be my favorite out of four. So far, did the best impression and was the most balanced game. Guys, this will be all as far as the British way counterinsurgency at the end of Empire is concerned. We went through all four games. We played Palestine, we played Malaya, uh, we played Cyprus, we played Kenya. It's really good system, uh, coin games, and it's in beautifully, beautifully, let's say, adjusted to two-player game. I really like it. I really like the way it was done and how interesting this is. So please, guys, uh, mm, try it. I really, really recommend. In my teach and play, you can see the rules. You can see how the game plays. I'm sure I made some mistakes for which I would like to apologize. But all in all, feel free to use this material as a reference. These are quick games, one hour games, more or less. You can play 
to free during the evening with your buddies and you can play this also in a campaign mode. That's all for today. If you liked this video, please give a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, do not hesitate to subscribe. Thank you very much for being with me today and thanks for watching. Bye.